Since time immemorial, mankind has pondered a question that ignites deep fascination, what lies beyond what we know? What exists beyond the limits of our universe? This question has captivated scientists, philosophers, and explorers for centuries. The answer, however, is incredibly complex. Yet, recent advancements in technology, particularly with the deployment of the James Webb Space Telescope, have allowed us to peer deeper into the cosmos than ever before. What the telescope has discovered in the far reaches of the universe could potentially revolutionize physics as we know it. So, what exactly has the James Webb Space Telescope found at the edge of the universe? And why are scientists so excited about this discovery? We invite you to explore this fascinating mystery with us, as we delve into how the telescope has uncovered something gigantic at the limits of what we can observe. If you're interested in keeping up with the latest news from the universe and its surroundings, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and turn on the notification bell for updates. Albert Einstein, in 1916, developed the theory of gravity that fundamentally changed the way we understand the universe. His theory, which revolutionized Newton's earlier concepts of gravity, applied not just to Earth but to the entire cosmos. Einstein's theory demonstrated that the universe could not be static and must either be expanding or contracting. This concept was confirmed in 1929 when astronomer Edwin Hubble observed that galaxies were moving away from each other, a discovery that confirmed the expansion of the universe as a result of the Big Bang. This expansion indicates that the distance between galaxies is constantly increasing. Einstein's theory also provides the possibility of an infinitely expanding universe or one that curves back on itself like the surface of a sphere in higher dimensions. Some argue that the universe has an edge, especially given that it was born from the Big Bang about 13.82 billion years ago. As a result, we can only observe galaxies whose light has traveled for less than 13.82 billion years to reach us. This forms a spatial sphere centered on Earth, known as the observable universe. But in reality, the universe is much larger, around 92 billion light years across, with the edge of the observable universe known as the cosmic horizon. Like the horizon of the sea, it marks the limit of what we can see but beyond it, there are believed to be countless more galaxies whose light has yet to reach us. Can the James Webb Space Telescope, with its unmatched sensitivity, extend our view to the very edge of the universe? The James Webb Space Telescope is about 100 times more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope. It has the ability to detect the faintest infrared light emitted by the earliest galaxies in the universe, as well as study planets and stars in search of habitability. However, we do not yet know what the telescope will discover when it points toward the furthest reaches of the universe. The cosmos is divided into the observable and unobservable realms, the observable being everything we can detect with instruments that measure radiation, while the limit of the observable universe is defined by the cosmic microwave background, radiation produced about 13.8 billion years ago. At that time, the universe was like a dense fog, opaque to light. Some scientists believe there are even more distant phenomena, like gravitational waves and neutrinos, which we cannot yet observe due to the limitations of current technology. Cosmologists suggest that what we can observe is only a small fraction of a much larger reality. Discovering galaxies like Abel 2744Y1, which lies at the farthest edge of the observable universe, offers invaluable insight into this larger reality. This galaxy is so distant that its light takes 13 billion years to reach us, meaning we see it as it appeared only 650 million years after the Big Bang. To study such distant objects, astronomers must use various telescopes that observe different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. For example, by combining data from the Hubble, Spitzer, and Chandra telescopes, astronomers have been able to observe galaxies that are up to 100 times farther away than any single telescope could detect on its own. Scientists from the Astrophysics Institute of the Canary Islands and the University of La Laguna used the Hubble Space Telescope to identify and calculate the distance to the galaxy Abel 2744Y1, as well as estimate the number of stars it contains. They used a technique known as gravitational lensing, where the light from distant galaxies is magnified by the gravity of galaxies closer to Earth. 
Although Able 2744Y1 is much smaller than our Milky Way, spanning about 2,300 light years, its star formation rate is 10 times higher. The galaxy's redshift, a measure of how much its light has been stretched toward longer wavelengths due to the expansion of the universe, is 8, placing it among the most distant objects ever observed. Prior to its discovery, the most distant known galaxy had a redshift of more than 7, but now astronomers have gone even further, discovering supernova DS16C2NM through a dark energy survey. Supernovae are massive stellar explosions, marking the final moments of a star's life. To understand how stars live and die, astronomers must observe these supernovae. Massive stars burn through their nuclear fuel at an astonishing rate, generating immense energy. This energy creates pressure that prevents the star from collapsing under its own gravity. When you look at a star in the night sky, you're seeing this balance between gravity pulling inward and energy pushing outward. But when a star runs out of fuel, it cools, the pressure decreases, and gravity takes over, leading to a supernova explosion. These explosions happen in seconds. Sometimes, supernovae occur when two stars collide. The DES16C2NM supernova, identified in 2016, is a rare and distant event. It is classified as a Type II supernova, meaning the star had reached the end of its life and exploded in a violent cataclysm. The explosion is believed to have occurred 10.5 billion years ago, and its light has been traveling through space for more than three quarters of the universe's history. Because of the expansion of the universe, this supernova is now much farther away than it would appear to the naked eye. The DES16C2NM supernova is especially intriguing because it was a dark supernova, meaning it emitted little visible light and was difficult to detect. However, astronomers used infrared-sensitive telescopes to spot it. The discovery was made possible with the help of three powerful telescopes, including the Keck Observatory and the Magellan Telescope. It took over 500 nights of observation to confirm this distant supernova. The enormous effort was worth it because studying such distant supernovae will help scientists better understand the causes of these massive cosmic explosions. A supernova like DS16C2NM has significant implications for its surrounding galaxy and, potentially, for the entire universe. The explosion releases vast amounts of energy in the form of neutrinos and photons, which interact with surrounding gas and dust to create a shockwave. This shockwave travels at thousands of kilometers per second, heating up the surrounding material and producing bursts of radiation detectable across a range of wavelengths, from visible light to radio waves and X-rays. Additionally, supernovae create heavy elements like iron, gold, and platinum, essential building blocks for planets and life as we know it. These elements are scattered into the surrounding galaxy, enriching the environment and providing raw materials for future generations of stars and planets. In summary, a supernova like DS16C2NM plays a crucial role in shaping galaxies over time. By analyzing the ultraviolet light emitted by these explosions, scientists can determine the amount of matter produced and the temperatures reached, which is key to understanding the dynamics of such cosmic events. The difference between DS16C2NM and stars like Betelgeuse lies in the type of supernova explosion. DS16C2NM is a type II supernova, occurring when a massive star collapses in on itself, while Betelgeuse is expected to eventually explode as a less catastrophic type IIP supernova. As astronomers continue to search for distant supernovae and other cosmic phenomena, new discoveries will further expand our understanding of the universe. What lies beyond the edge of the universe remains one of the greatest mysteries in science. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.